Welcome to Extraction with Magmax Magnetic Beads Technology. Today we're going to talk about how Life Technologies powerful and superior Magmax Sample Prep Kit provides exceptional nucleic acid binding, helping you to recover high yield DNA and RNA from diverse sources and sample matrices. Obtaining high quality, intact DNA and RNA is the first and often the most critical step in performing many fundamental molecular biology experiments. When dealing with difficult concentrated samples, glass fiber filter extraction method often faces challenges like clogging, large elution volumes, and inconsistent yields. What then happens to your productivity? On the other hand, the Magmax Pathogen RNA DNA Kit from Life Technologies overcomes these challenges and delivers remarkable RNA and DNA purification from even tough to lice bacteria for use in PCR and RT PCR applications. Whether the source is from biological samples like feces and whole blood, Biofluids, such as milk, urine, nasal fluids, swab samples, semen or typical animal tissues. Magmax enables the effective recovery of nucleic acids from diverse samples. By using optimized protocols, it avoids cross-contamination and constantly purifies nucleic acid away from PCR inhibitors. How does Magmax achieve these results? Let's look at the state-of-the-art magnetic technology it's based on. The kit combines an effective method for disrupting even difficult to lice samples, such as mycobacterium, with Magmax magnetic bead-based nucleic acid isolation and purification technology. The microspherical paramagnetic beads used have a large available binding surface and can be fully dispersed in solution, allowing thorough nucleic acid binding washing and elution. The procedure, therefore, delivers very consistent yields of high-quality nucleic acid with more than 50% recovery and little sample-to-sample -sample variation. Let's watch the procedure live in action. So these are the main reagents for our Magmax Pathogen RNA DNA kit. Here we have the lysis binding solution concentrate, wash solution 1, wash solution 2 concentrate, and elution buffer. The smaller ones over here are the lysis enhancer, the carrier RNA, and nucleic acid beads. These are the beads that are going to be doing the separation. So now we need to combine the nucleic acid binding beads with the lysis enhancer in one tube so that the mixture is ready. Therefore, we're going to take one milliliter of each and combine them into a single tube. So here, I'm pipetting the magnetic beads so that I can make the magnetic bead mix. Followed by the lysis enhancer, both in the same proportion. We'll need a total of 20 microliters for the reaction. Therefore, we're going to take one microliter of each and combine them into a single tube. Okay, so now that we've pipetted all of our samples, we can already see the beads in the bottom of the tubes. Everything is ready. We just need to add our sample and do the extraction on the instrument. The rest of our plates are ready as well, 
but these will not go into the extraction zone or the blood zone. They'll remain here and will go directly into the instrument. The only plate that we will be taking to the new zone is the one in which we need to add the samples. So now we need to prepare wash samples. The first one we're going to do is wash one. As you can see, there are two plates of wash one. Because we're working with the same solution for all of the samples, we'll work in parallel with a multi-channel pipette. We can quickly fill them all up and we don't need to change tips in between. Now we're going to be pipetting wash two. Again, it's going to be two plates and once again, we can do this quickly with the multi-channel pipette. We'll fill them all up systematically without needing to change the pipette tips. So now we're going to pipette the elution buffer. The elution buffer is the other required element, so we place it in here and we can work again with a multi-channel pipette. We can use just one set of tips, which is again important for high throughput. In this case, we're going to use a low volume plate because at the end of this procedure, the elution volume is where we'll have concentrated all of our RNA and DNA. OK, so now we're adding our samples into the solution, using a single pipette, of course. We'll be doing as many samples as required, up to a maximum of 96. OK, so now we'll load the plates into the MagMax Express. First, we'll turn it on. You can see it will make a few movements to test itself. The moment it's finally loaded, it'll give us a message that everything is OK. Right, so the only thing we need to do with this MagMax instrument is select the right protocol for the chemistry that we're using. In this case, there are only two options, high volume and low volume. We're simulating the extraction of blood on high volume, so this is the script that we need to use. And we just need to press start. The instrument then guides us through what to load and at what time. The first one is the tip plates, so the tips just go inside. This plate is just going to be a holder. We need to take care of the A1 position and match the A1 position on the plate and that's it. Then we press start again and the instrument is going to ask for the next plate, the elution plate. So as you can see, it's asking backwards. So this is my elution plate, which is going to be placed in the same position following the same orientation. Then we press start again. The next plate is going to be the second wash 2. Then we load the first wash 2. Then we're going to load second wash 1. Then first wash 1. And finally, our sample plate. Then, as we click again on Start, the script will launch. The instrument is going to start shaking the sample. The magnets enter inside the tips. Tip combs are moving up and down to mix reagents and lice samples. At the end of this step, the nucleic acids are bound to the beads and the bead to collect it onto the tip comb and transfer to the next plate. The liquid is not transferred between the plates, but only the solid beads, removing the chance to create aerosols. The absence of liquid transfer results in two key benefits that improve the quality of your nucleic acid. Firstly, there's no detectable cross-contamination between samples. Secondly, this procedure ensures efficient inhibitor removal. It takes typically 30 minutes to complete a script after you load your samples. At the final step, 
The nucleic acids are released into the elution solution, the beads are removed, but the nucleic acids remain in the plate. So now we see the MagMax instrument delivers us the last elution plate with purified nucleic acid with the samples ready for use. The rest of the plates will be thrown away and this is the result of the run. So you can see there is no doubt that MagMax delivers the confidence you expect from life technologies. And this is yours with MagMax Sample Preparation Kit.